Hello guys, um, I'm showing you the slow leak, slow water leak on the uh, water reach uh, toilet and uh, the model number starting with C uh, that it shows inside the toilet tank. Uh, this is the toilet that uh, Costco was selling I think around 2000 um, 15 to 2017 around that time range it was pretty inexpensive maybe you know less than hundred dollar for a piece and uh, right now that i'm shooting this video is 2021 so we all think that uh, uh, the some of the uh, life of the uh, fillers or the flappers those are over and that's why uh, we are having these uh, slow leaks on these toilets but i would show you that uh, what i actually saw it i watched a couple of videos you know people showing that uh, how to change the things uh, so let me show you what i learned actually so you can take out the top and then this is the inside of the toilet uh, as i said i i saw videos that uh, people are talking about to take the uh, canister out and then clean the uh, washer underneath and uh, uh, all other tricks that I saw and none of those were kind of uh, making sense you know somebody a lot of people are just uh, uh, replacing this canister I opened it I couldn't find anything wrong with it and uh, it made me keep thinking that what the problem is so I have one interesting thing that, uh, as I said, these the, these toilets are slow leaking, right? So you are definitely thinking that there is something wrong with the washer. Uh, but uh, that is actually not the problem. The problem is here on the part that uh, it's on the door. Uh, as you can see, I noticed this little knot here. Let me show you better. Here, this knot is up here, and then when I'm pushing the when I'm pushing the buttons, it goes all the way and it does like this. And then I will just keep thinking that why it should do that. Then I realized when I put this back on, so the toilet is not leaking, but as soon as I put this back on, then I would get some slow leaks so then i realized the issue is actually here this little guy is supposed to be this whole uh, uh whole screw is supposed to be screwed down all the way if it's not it's gonna stand taller and then as you can see it can stand taller than the other one and it would constantly push that button down like this so just a little bit as you see just a little it's going to cause it to constantly you know uh, push the bottom part of the clamper down and that's the cause of this slow leak so to fix it basically just come here you need to just screw this down. For some reason, this gets loose and it's coming out. So this needs to be screwed down all the way, right? That they are pretty much at the same height with the other one, as you see. And then you just screw this part down. Okay. So it's most likely not both of them gonna go bad. So you just see that uh, the good one, which is uh, still there, just do it the same as the other one, right? You see that? They both are tight and all the way down. And when I'm putting this back on, I won't have any more issues. So those two uh, tall screws gonna stay away from the bottom buttons so they're not pushing them and then there won't be any slow leaks so that's the only uh, fix you need to do and then 
Your toilet is now work just fine. That's it. Thank you guys. Bye.